we're talking statics chapter three again. We're talking statics on a particle. And you saw the title of the video. There's no such thing as a straight string. And you're like, I, I got to see this. I got to see. Yeah, this is one of my favorite little lectures to give you. Let's see if this makes sense to you. Okay. So I've got a traffic light and it's hanging between two buildings. And uh, what I have to do to solve this problem is I want to know what the tension in those cables are. The first thing I need to do is I need to look at this intersection of the, of the ropes there, right? So I have a 100-pound traffic light hanging there, uh, an expertly drawn traffic light, if I might add. <laughs> okay, so let's look at that joint, and it, and it looks something like this. There's 100 pounds pulling down, and would you agree that this is a symmetric system, so the tension in this rope is the same as the tension in that rope? I'd agree with that, yeah. So I'll call this T and I'd call this T as well, okay? Which, and here's my, here's my two angles, 30 degrees and 30 degrees, okay? So right off the bat, you guys know that, boom, I got some vectors at angles in order to solve this. I need to break those guys into components. So I'm gonna break these into some components like this. And then I'm gonna label those components, okay? So we've talked about this many times before. So this is T cos 30, this is T sine 30, and this up here is T sine 30, and then over here, T cos 30. Okay, so from, we know that this, this traffic light is in equilibrium. It's just hanging there, it's not moving. Well, if you live where I live, the wind would be blowing it around, but that's okay. We're assuming it's not moving, so what has to be true? Well, that means that the sum of the forces and the x have to be zero, and the sum of the forces in the y have to be zero, okay? So let's look at this, our free body diagram, okay? This is, and, and a free body diagram is just where we have gone in and freed up a joint from the world, whoop, and looked at just that joint, right? So that's what, this is like this blown up over here, right, okay? So let's look at the force in the x. Well, in the x direction, what do we have? I have that guy and I have that guy. So if I wrote this equation, I would have t cos 30 minus t cos 30. Wait a minute. So I just proved that t cos 30 equals t cos 30. So I'm really not gonna get any information whatsoever from the x equation. No help, thanks a lot, okay? Let's try the y equation. Now I've got two of these guys pulling uphill and one of these guys pulling downhill. So let's take those two guys and combine them together and we get this. We get 2t sine of 30 minus 100 equals 0. Okay? Now we can move the 100 to the other side, divide it by 2, that becomes 50, and then divide it by the sine of 30, so that becomes t equals 50 divided by the sine of 30. Now if you can't follow those three algebra steps in one step in your brain, um, well, you have other problems, right? No, don't say that. Okay, so let's see what the tension in those two cables are, T, for that 30 degree angle there, okay? So T for the 30 degree angle is equal to, where are you calculator? Here you are. Okay, clear, on, clear. All right, 50 divided by the sine of 30 equals 100. So, what's that telling me? That tells me that for, to hold up that 100 pound light, that string has to have 100 pounds of tension in it, and that one has to have 100 pounds of tension in it at 30 degrees. Oh, crud, you know what, we just got a call. Hello, yeah, this is the traffic department? Oh, crud. A truck tried to go under that today, and as he was going under it, the truck hit it on top of the roof, <laughs> hit that. So they said, y'all gotta go down there and raise that up. Uh, okay. So how do we raise it up? Well, we just, we, uh, we make this from a 30 degree angle to a five degree angle, okay? Now in order to do that, we had to hook our, our winch on there and clickety, 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 click, and then it, it pulled it up, right? So what's the new tension? Okay, what in our equation over here is gonna change? Well, instead of that being a 30, instead of that being a 30, now it's a, it's a five, okay? And down here is a five. So the boss wants to know, what's the new tension in the cable? 
Well, I don't know, boss, but here, here you go. It's 50 divided by the sine of 5, which is, uh-oh, 573.68. Okay. So, to hold up 100 pounds, I got 573 over here, 573 over there. That's a lot. Uh-oh. Hello? Yeah. He hit it again? Huh. Okay. Now we got to go do it one more time. We're going to make dang sure they don't hit it this time. We're going to go change it to 0 0.05 degrees, right? We're talking about like it went from here to like almost straight. Not quite, but almost straight, right? And the boss is like, did you check the tension? Uh, no. Well, let's check it. 0 0.05. Uh-oh. 0 0.05. Okay, so 50 divided by the sine of 0 0.05 is, oh my gosh, T 0 0.05 is equal to 57,295 points some change, right? Wow. Okay. What happens if I had to go to point zero zero five? Oh, let's just try it. 50 divided by, oh, let's do this. Divided by point zero 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 five. Oh, not zero zero five, sine, sorry. Sine of point zero 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 five. That way they won't hit it. Oh my gosh. The tension now is at, uh, let's see. 5.7 million pounds. 0005, 5.7 million pounds. Okay, so what's happening? So as that rope gets closer and closer, as that angle gets closer and closer to zero, what's the tension doing? The tension is going to infinity. So here's my question for you, okay? Now you can see this right here, right? Here's a weight, right? There's your traffic light. As I start pulling on that, okay, I'm pulling on that pretty hard right there. You can still see a little droop in that, can't you? I'm, I'm pulling it pretty hard. <laughs> it hurts my shoulder. Okay. Oh, well, what about this? Let's just take that weight off there. What about now? Okay. Now. Okay. Well, let me at least choke up on this. Okay. There you go. Really good. There you go. Bam. Is that string straight? The answer is no. Does this rope have mass? Yes, it does. Uh, it doesn't have a, a lot of mass, but it does have some mass. So it has a downward force. So how hard do I have to pull side to side to overcome that downward force to make that rope perfectly straight? We just proved it, didn't we? You don't have to have 100 pounds on there. You can have 0. .0001 pounds, right? You can't make that string straight. You have to pull infinitely hard, and I don't have that ability. That string is not straight, and it won't ever be straight. Okay, what about... What about now? Okay, what is this hand up here doing, my top hand? Well, this top hand is pulling up as hard as the bottom hand is pulling down, plus the weight of the rope, right? Because it's also supporting the rope as well, okay? But all of those forces are directed in the positive Y direction, right? Where's the mass of the rope? Uh, it's in the Y direction. So guess what? Straight string, not straight string. Straight string, not straight string. Mind blown. Okay, thanks for joining me. Sorry to blow your mind, and we'll see you on the next video.